Okay, there we go. Hey, you guys, welcome to CC Million Vlogs. Thank you so much for stopping by for another Mom's Confessions video. I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys today about an update on my gestational diabetes and my new birthing plan, which is gonna be a home birth. I'm really excited about this. So give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below. I do mom confessions on Mondays, and then I do vlogs, smoke bangs, whatever on Fridays. So more videos coming soon in the future, okay? <laughs> but um, so basically, I if you guys had seen my last video, I had talked to you guys about how I was gonna be seeing a midwife okay which is kind of like a doula i don't really know the difference i'm gonna look that up though but a midwife is someone who could help you deliver your baby in their office in a water birth pool or they have sometimes they have beds there um i chose to do it at home so we'll see how that goes because you do have to pay like a small fee but my insurance covers it and then i have to just pay out of pocket like a small fee for it to be at home because then she'll have to bring the supplies here and the pool here, fill the water up and just bring everything that we would normally do at her office to my home, which I'm super excited about. But let me tell you guys what happened. So the first appointment I met with her, I prayed about it on Sunday and then I was telling you guys about it and I'm like, okay, I just know that I, I don't have, I'm gonna keep telling myself I'm healthy, I'm fine, I don't have gestational diabetes and this and that, right? So basically the next day I found her, which was so crazy because I had just prayed about it, but that's how things work. Okay. You got to get into existence. Anyways. So then I went to her and she's like, okay, um, do you know where they were having all your results at? Because I need to have like all of the, you know, basically to make sure that I took the test to make sure I had like blood work done and all of that stuff basically done and just um that the last part was just to have the delivery of the baby so i was like yeah it was through lab core whatever so she was able to look up all of my stuff and she saw all of my results and everything and she was like that's weird she was like so they didn't tell you not to eat before you went or not to have any sugars and i was like no and she was like and then they gave you a two hour and a three hour so like that she was like that's weird and then she was like you passed your two hours so why would they send you back and then why wouldn't they prepare prepare you to you're not for the three hour test everyone knows you're not supposed to have any sugars within 12 hours of your test so they didn't tell you any of this and then she and i was like no they didn't tell me anything they really have just been they have been nice but i saw a different doctor every time i went so it was one nice doctor one time and then the next time the doctors talk they're just talking about different things like c-sections and you have to go do this and do that and i'm just like something just didn't sound right but it's probably because in the hospital they have you do like meet multiple doctors and each time i went literally it was a different doctor and i'm just like this is just like like who feels like this is home this isn't home okay you know what i'm saying like this ain't gonna work so basically she was like with these results with your first one i would have passed you would have never wanted to send i would have never sent you back and um she was like just continue to change your diet like you said you're gonna do continue to do your workouts and stuff like that i'm gonna take you here we're gonna transfer yourself over here because sometimes those doctors just like to for a c-section on things and then they it looks like they wanted you to fail because why wouldn't they tell you and prepare you 12 hours before the test not to have any sugars or not to eat right before the test and what happened was i didn't really know anything about that type of stuff so i ate like literally right before i went into the building i had a really big breakfast egg and cheese made griddle a hash brown um a iced coffee you know what i'm saying so <laughs> i probably shouldn't have had all that but um i just really wasn't thinking about that kind of stuff because i just I don't know. I just wasn't thinking. Okay. I was, I was being a little bit slow. Okay. Sometimes it happens. All right. But, um, I was very happy to find out that she did say that my first results, she would have passed me because they basically passed and they should have never sent me for a second one. So when she said that, she was just like, yeah, you don't have to go back to them. I'm gonna take you here. And I was like, okay, okay. We're in there. I'm gonna have a water birth at home now. And I do have this option still. Like if I don't want to pay the small fee, <coughs> To go to her office and have it done there and everything be covered but the reason why i want to do it at home is because my living room is pretty spacious and my mom my sister my daughter is going to be here with me and then the midwife and i think whoever she has with her it's enough room in here um because she did come and visit my house last week which is very exciting she came to visit my home 
and she looked at the tubs that I had and then she said well if you wanted to do it you can do it in your room on your bed or you can do it you know in the pool and I'll just bring everything over here get everything set up for you and it's just a small fee whatever like that and I'm like okay we're gonna figure out how we're gonna pay this small fee okay because that's that's how God works okay and I'm saying that's how the universe works okay the universe is always working in my favor so I knew that if I kept telling myself that I was healthy and stuff like that and then you guys so at the doctor's office they told me that my baby was still breached and the next appointment where we're going to be talking about c-sections that's what really scared me because I told the lady I'm not having a c-section my first daughter she was the vaginal birth with my second daughter I'm going to have a vaginal birth like that I was just very adamant on that because like I'm a very spiritual person I'm very like more mindset oriented like the results can tell you something and it could just be the doctor doing their job, but my I create my reality. Like, no. So, I went to the doula, and she did an ultrasound. She's like, no, your baby's head down. And I'm like, okay, it could be because I've been doing the exercises and stuff like that. But I would just really hope that I wasn't, you know, misled or whatever or anything. You know, I was by myself, you know what I'm saying, because I'm a single mom. So, I just feel like sometimes, like, People tend to misjudge and maybe they felt like, okay, she's by herself. You know, we can just do her in and out quick. She said, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't want to misjudge or, or think about it anymore because I don't have to go back to them. I'm now seeing my midwife. So I have an appointment again today and I'm super excited. And um, how I'm basically going to set up things here, I just have everything envisioned. So I'm hoping it goes as planned. My sister's coming the third, I think. My mom's coming the 5th. They're going to be staying for a while. And then um, I'm just trying to pray that this is probably like the less painful birth and things like that. Because with my first daughter, I was in the hospital. I did have an epidural. I did have medication, you know, and now it's 10 years later. It's my first daughter's 10. It's 10 years later. And your girl's doing it all over again. And I'm scared, y'all. I'm scared, okay? I'm scared. Well, I'm not scared, really. I, I think, really, I'm ready at this point. At this point, I'm ready. At this point, I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? Like, at this point, I'm just ready. I am about to be 38 weeks. So, I'm, like, really at the end of 38, well, 37. So, I'm about to be 38 weeks now. And I remember my first starter came early. So I want to have the little pool set up in here. I'm going to record for YouTube. So this is going to be exciting. You guys will get to see me deliver the baby, okay, naturally and unmedicated. Um, I think the thing, I'm not really scared, but I think I'm just a little bit nervous because for one, I'm about to be a mom of two now, single mom of two now. And I know I got this, but it's just like a little bit nervous because... I wanted to do this in the beginning so the fact that it's actually happening I'm actually excited and then it's actually scary because I just I didn't think my insurance would cover it I didn't so I just kind of pushed it off so now I'm just happy that everything's working out the way I wanted it to basically but I'm just nervous that you know the pain but she said don't think about the pain don't don't think about it she said some people can you can you know choose to have your mindset that way you know or you can so i'm just really going to try to i know i'm stumbling over my words it's just like i'm a little bit nervous but i'm really going to try to do it to where i don't have any pain i'm gonna try to you know just have the meditation music going have my crystals going and the weird thing okay so this crystal that i'm wearing guys so let me tell you what happened with this when i was deciding you know about like the baby i had just found out i was pregnant and things like that and i'm like okay i don't know what i'm gonna do the dad's not here you know this and that what am i gonna do right so i went to the mall and you know shopping cures everything for a girl well for me it does okay for me and my daughter we love to go shopping and food food and shopping for us is curable okay my problems are gone because i now just have this new wardrobe i got this really good fancy food in my body that's how it is for me so I went to the mall and I went to the crystal shop. And when I go to crystal shops, I like to just go into the crystal shop. Oh yeah, and the lady, she's a Christian. I think it's so cute because when I walked in her office, it was like uh, Christian music playing. It was a Bible like right out there. And I was like, this is so cute because I literally just prayed the day before yesterday. Now this is like, so anyway, um, I went into the shop and I like to draw myself, go towards the, you know, any crystals and whatever, which one my intuition tells me to pick up. I like to pick that crystal up. So I happened to pick up this crystal and I read what it meant, y'all. It's for pregnant women to help them stay balanced in things and to help relieve, um, to alleviate pain in labor. Isn't that crazy? 
that's so crazy i randomly just picked this up so i've been wearing it and um i have been having a little bit of pain but it's like not like too much i'm able to like breathe through it and calm myself down and stuff like that so i don't know i'm excited at this point i got her car seat and stroller up and everything and i'm going to show you guys that in the vlog i post friday because i've already pre-recorded the vlog for friday but that's pretty much it your girl's gonna have a home water birth and i'm hoping that when i go tonight everything else is just perfect as well so then we can just keep this process going and then hopefully she comes by the end of next week or the following week on time so then everyone could be here and experience this and i'm going to record it for youtube so i hope that you guys enjoy this journey so give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel below and i will see you guys next time bye